Hello, everyone. I am Kara Gaffney, and I'm very proud to be here today to, <laughs> to stand up for life, for all lives. To stand up for the life of the unborn child. Even if that child will be born with Down syndrome. I am from the U.S. And in my country, and in many countries all around the world, babies who may have Down syndrome are being wiped out before they can even take their first breath. But not here. Not today. Not in your country. Not in Ireland. Not in the homeland of my extended family. A family of Gaffneys and Lynches, O'Connells, Gary's, Durden's, McGee's, Hedigan's, and Fitzgerald's, just to name a few. This is not my first trip to Ireland. I was welcomed here in 2009 when Ireland played host to the World Down Center Congress. I was the keynote speaker for that conference, and I led a few workshops as well. The, the Down Center Support Group in Ireland went out of their way to welcome us from all over the world. <clears throat> when the conference was over, I went for a little swim and then down Mary Harbor. You see, I have some family connections to Dr. John Redmond, who was a swim organizer that year. He and I both swam in a similar race, a race across the San Francisco Bay. That was a longer race than down Erie. And after some practice swims at 40 foot, he determined that I would qualify for the down Erie Harbor race. He looked past my Down syndrome and saw a swimmer. It was a great day. It was a great swim. And I was honored with a trophy for being the fastest woman overseas swimmer. Now, I was the only woman overseas swimmer. But hey, a win is a win, right? Those of us with Down syndrome have come a long way from the dark ages of lives spent in institutions. Every day, every week, every year, we are pushing the boundaries and barriers that were laid down for us so many years ago. Those boundaries and barriers are crumbling right before our eyes. Just look around. You see young children with Down syndrome learning along with their peers in school. You see young adults with Down syndrome seeking higher education. work alongside a person with Down Syndrome in the workplace. And 
you stand beside a person with Down syndrome at a rally for life. Who carries a sign that says, Save the Ace. and our families will keep pushing on those boundaries and barriers that get in the way. With your help and your support, we will live up to the promise of the life you are protected for us. And each time one of us makes it a little farther on the road to inclusion, in the schools, in the workplace, and in the community. We will turn around and reach back and make the road easier for those who are just starting out now. That is humanity at work. And it is alive and well in Ireland. We need to keep it that way, and we need to spread that humanity all across the world. Now, more than ever, we need to work together and raise our voices as loud as we can to reach the hearts and minds of people all across Ireland to stay the eighth. Save lives. To save all lives. Thank you, Ireland, for having the courage to lead the way for the world. Thank you very much. Give it up for Karen, everybody! Woo! 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 And give it up for Kevin. Give it up for Mary Bridget. Give it up for Connor. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. A big round of applause for that, come on! Isn't she incredible?